Okay, let's take a look, to, uh, look at, we're looking at number question 35 in uh, our textbook, and we have two conducting rails with a uh, wire across the middle. With the B field going up, how much current is flowing through the bar? Let's uh, draw this up. All the information is right there. And now let's get ourselves set up in here like this. All right, I think I almost had it here. There we go. And now I gotta get back into focus. So the question is, how much current? Well, we need to draw this out. So here's our side view. If you wanna refer back to the picture, you can. Uh, here's our wire. Field's going up. It's moving this way at a constant velocity. So the change in velocity is zero. Change in velocity is zero means the acceleration is zero means the sum of the forces equals zero. So we need to draw a free body diagram. Uh, let's go. So what is that going to look like? So here's our so free body. Here's our little wire. So we're going to have the force of gravity pulling down. We have the normal force going this direction, but we have a current flowing through there or this way. We don't know which way yet, and the B field is pushing on that current. So we need to figure out which way it goes. So we stick our fingers in the direction of the field and my, uh, my so my current's either flowing out, no it's not, because it's either got to go this way or this way. So if I go this way, my thumb is pointing up. Uh, so I have currents coming at me, fields going up, so it's going to push it in that direction. Well that's going to give me a, so it's going to push in that direction. So it's going to give me a force in this direction but then the sum of those forces can't be zero, so this isn't correct. The, that means in order to get pushed backwards, the current must be moving into the page. So actually, my current is moving this way, so that means my force of the, uh, do the magnetic field is pointing that direction. Now the sum of these forces have to equal zero. The sum of the forces in the x direction and the sum of the forces in the y direction have to equal zero. So now let's throw it down. All right. So sum of the forces in the x direction, I have positive FB, and then I have this part of there. So this is 30. Um, that's 30, that's 30, so that means this is 30 as well. So I have minus N sine, sine 30, and those have to equal zero. Some of the forces in the Y direction equal negative FG, and then N cosine 30. So, sum of the forces equals zero, n cosine 30 equals Fg, which is going to equal the mass of times g. Then Fb, the for magnetic force, is n sine 30. n is mg divided by the cosine of, oh, can't see that anymore. Normal force is mg cosine 30, so we're going to plug it into the Magnetic force is mg sine 30 over cosine 30. This turns into mg tan 30 is the magnetic force. Let's slide this up. So if the Magnetic force is ILB, because they're at 90 degrees to each other, the sine theta, but that's one because the sine is 90. So ILB equals mg tan 30. Now back to my, back to my book. The current is what I'm looking for mg tan 30 over lb. 
I have the mass, which is 0.2 kilograms, G, which is 10, tan 30, which I already know. The length of the wire between them is 1.6 meters times the B field strength, which is 0.05 Tesla. There you go. You can multiply that out for yourself.